Hey guys, so I know I'm a little late to the month doing this, but I'm here to do my November Ipsy unbagging. And as always, it comes in the pink bowl mailer. Zoom in just a little bit. I've lost my tripod, so you guys are like balancing on boxes. I just got a new one and I can't find it. I don't know. That's like really, really close. Anyways, it comes in this pink bubble mailer and it's $10 a month subscription service. And inside you get your bag with five sample to deluxe size items and a card. This month's theme is Rock Starlet and it always gives you this thing on the back to like go online hashtag blah 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 so you can be entered to win stuff this month's bag is really cute but it's one i probably might not keep i don't know i have purged a lot of my makeup bags i actually have a purge video i'm thinking of filming i don't have me like going through everything but i have a bucket off to the side over here of stuff that i am getting rid of I got the blue and gold one. It's like little constellations, but the constellations are makeup. Like here's a quad, and there's lipstick and mascara. And I got the gold one. It has a little gold star for the zipper pull. And inside were my little five items. And I'm going to try something different this month that I saw somebody else doing. I don't remember who it was. But actually like putting products on to do like a first impressions with them. So the first one I got was the Mad Lash by The Balm Black Mascara. I have never tried any of their mascaras. I do not like these pull up wands. Ooh. It's a weird looking wand. It's curvy and it has like bristles on three different sides. Kind of reminds me of the X-rated wand, but it's curved. So, let's see if I actually like it. Okay, that's not bad. It applies really, really nicely. Really, really black. I usually put two different mascaras on, one on top and one on bottom. Just because I like to have waterproof on bottom so it doesn't smudge. This is actually a really nice one. I was bummed out that everybody else I know got the Better Than Sex mascara because that is my cult favorite. But this one is not bad. Oh, that's really dark on that side. It's not bad. It gives me really good length. But I don't have any eyeliner on, so it's a little bit easier to see maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's really wet when I blink. I'm a little all over the place this morning. Really haven't been in the right frame of mind lately. This camera's just not sitting right for me. Okay, the next product I got is by Nux Nukes. I don't know, Paris. It's a detox... Detoxifying and Youth Revealing Anti-Aging Care. Is it a mask? Is it a cream? I don't know. I might have to look this one up on my app. Let's look it up and find out what it says. It says, if I can find it. I like masks, so maybe it's a mask. I don't know. Come on, phone. Let's work. The Silky Smooth Serum purifies and detoxes. After a few uses, our skin looked luminous and well rested. So I guess it's just a serum that you put on your face like a moisturizer. Okay, so it starts off as like this white cream. It has a very clean scent to it. Very, It feels really, really nice though. So I might start using that at night instead of the other moisturizer I've been using just because I feel like that one's not really doing anything for me. And the next item in here 
is by Dose Duce Freematic Blush in the color Zen Orange. It's upside down. Just kidding. Big old box for this thing. So little. But it's better than some of the blushes I've gotten where I can't even get my blush brush into the pan. And it's kind of cool. It has a slide lid that slides out. Very soft. Okay, that's not that bad. You can barely even see it on my hand. Where's my blush brush? see how it looks on the face. It's a very subtle color. My hair is all sorts of frizzy today. Good lord. It has a very makeup-y smell. But I mean it's a soft subtle color. I like it. It's not bad. And the next thing I got is by Ofra. It's a banana highlighting powder. A lot of banana powders I use to counteract my redness. I don't really use them as highlights. And I was just telling my friend Emma last night that I need to get like a Z palette to put all these loose powder things I keep getting. It's not loose powder, it's the powders that are like in a pan, not in a compact. I love Ofra Cosmetics in general. They're so soft and buttery. It's just a yellow powder, very creamy. Now, if only I had something to put it in. So I'm not like keeping this little cardboard thing in my collection. That would be nice. Cause look, I still have my Urban Decay Fireball eyeshadow I got free for something like this. I've got a few other ones, and then I would like to depot a lot of my singles and put them all together, but we'll see. The last thing I got is by, what are you by? Absolute, I guess. It is a matte red lipstick. Might help if I could hold it right for you guys. It's color NFA52 Dark Red. I hate that I can never open these kind of packages now that I have nails. Ooh, Bambi heard me opening that and she thought it was a treat. Okay, and the color on the cap is true to the color in there. Kind of. This one's a little lighter than this one. Let's see what it looks like on the lips. I wish it was a little bit more smaller head to apply with or a more precise one I guess especially with red you want to be very very precise that was the most horrible way of putting on lipstick ever but I still haven't finished my coffee. But this is a really pretty red. I like this red. It's perfect for this time of year. It is going right here in my collection. Because I had one empty spot of lipsticks in my lipstick holder. Whatever. You know what I mean. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like to leave a comment down below, go ahead. Find me on all my social medias. I really need to wake up before I keep filming. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.